Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. Hey. Welcome hello. out to episode yeah. 13, a little mini episode we're going to be doing. Um, I say mini, it still, it still could be a, a, a couple hours or so, but we'll see. Um, we are absent one member today. Uh, Dodger is very unwell right now. She's very sickly, so uh, she's, she's resting up. Um, so we're not going to push through the entirety of this dungeon. I don't want her to miss it. Um, but also because we're taking off the next couple of weeks uh, of, of Dungeons & Dragons, because it's Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve in the next two Sundays, I thought this would be a nice time to kind of give you a little bit of mystery before we uh, we wrap off for the year. So, okay. before we get started, uh, and also excuse any any sickness from our end, I have I have COVID currently. I don't know if anyone else is sick, but there might I be some coughing. awful cough. Stuff. Terrible. I was expecting some We're coughing. We're doing great. It's, it's the holidays. People are going to be coughing. Um, hey, man. My wife is sick. My daughter is sick. I'm on borrowed time. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's true. There's it's a true. clock behind you just yeah, ticking, uh, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Um, so, has anyone got anything they want to announce or shout out before we get started? Otherwise, shall we dive into episode 13? Happy birthday, Joe! Thank One you. day late. Uh, that was yesterday, I'm afraid. It doesn't count anymore. I know. You fucking kept that quiet. What the hell? What do you mean? I spoke to you yesterday. You didn't say anything about birthday. Yeah, I, was, I would do yeah, that. Yeah, I would kind, you kind of like don't do tell same. someone, hey, it's my birthday today, <laughs> like to them. It's kind of like it goes the other way, usually. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Joe, yeah. though. He yeah. might. Wait, does he get a... I think, does he get a... Inspiration. 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 I think uh, we should yeah, all get Yeah, I should use it against you guys. That's true. Yeah. I, no. Uh, <laughs> wait. I think that's fair. Wrong. I'll, I get to use it whenever you guys are on death wait. saving throws to see if I can do the opposite. Um, no, Sam, the way to, uh, you, you tweet out a, a relevant tweet to my birthday. Uh, you said Marvel fell off since Civil War. That's how people remember my birthday. <laughs> Not again. Look, it's a cool fact. <laughs> it's a cool fact. Okay. You know in that movie. Wait, you agree with it? No, it, it, no, no, no. In Civil War, sort of, I mean, Civil War is a good movie, but in Civil War, what's the thing they keep repeating? The, you have the, to say it. No one remembers. You know what it, the fuck is I remember going on? <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is going to make sense. It. Okay, they go, they go, mission report, December 16th, 1991, right? <laughs> yeah. That's literally the exact day I was born. <laughs> That was fucking weird. <laughs> when I, went to the, I was in the cinema going, what the fuck? <laughs> this is like, <laughs> what's going to be in that trunk, <laughs> man? <laughs> it was I weird. Was everyone else the carried their own the yeah, trunk Yeah, the I was like, what the fuck is this going to be? <laughs> it, was, it was weirding me out, man. Um, oh, God. Anyway. So, uh, 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 no, I don't get a D20. Uh, that's only for you guys. Uh, my my D20 is the, the entertainment I get to bring to you guys every single week. Why is it funny, Shane? It's very sweet. It's cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't true. Um, so wow. <laughs> let's get started, shall we? Um, okay, let's. I keep forgetting. I've got two tabs open now. Let's find the music. Let's do this music. Uh, okay. Bring this down. Rumor has it that a group of so-called adventurers found themselves wandering into the halls of death in search of an orb, an orb capable of traveling an entire town around the continent, an orb that was stolen, taken by a leader called Alluvian, leader of the Unknighted Few who was now in pursuit of a god's power. Not a true god, but a prelux one. A being of power. You followed their group, their memories, their steps through the halls of death, this vault of death, and discovered, in piece by piece, how so many of them died. Death used his greatest power against them, Undeath. The dead rose whenever they fell and attacked the living. 
The Luvian was ahead of you. Way deeper into the tunnels, you managed to get past the Bridge of Death yourself. You stand in a room with a skeleton in the middle, a skull, capable of opening up three different rooms. The room to the north had been opened previously. The room to the west, you just opened, and the room to the east had never been opened. The last memory you saw of Corsilus before coming here was him showing you the ogres going west, searching for treasure in that closed-off chamber. But when you opened up, you saw two ghoulish versions of two of the three ogres that went through that way. Their tongues out of their mouths, their teeth jagged, their bodies now putrid. As they charge your group. We're going to kick off today straight into combat. Because you guys have opened up a chamber of ogres. Two guys. Just two guys. <laughs> uh, let's do some of this one. So, uh, I will ask you, please, if you can, to roll initiative. You see these two large, bulking ogres push and claw their way past as the door rises. <laughs> they both step into the room. Okay. I'm also going to put... Uh, For Dodger, does anyone want to play Dodger? Or Tack in this particular case? No. <laughs> I'll do it if no one wants to. Okay. I'm on. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can give, I can give her access to you. <clears throat> um, just getting... Yeah, I will take whatever opportunity I can get to get access to someone's character sheet so I can see how much. Oh help no, he's have. he's collecting them Slowly already. I'll get through them all. Uh, that's true. Uh, I can give. I'll give tech to. Oh, hold on, I need to give it to. I'll give access to tech to. So who yeah. wants it? Sorry, who's going to be taken over from it? I can do it. No one else has volunteered. You got it. I said we could crowdsource it, but I was muted. I did a Sam. No. It's now called an OLG. You've inherited it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Take it back. Uh, okay. Then, in that case, uh, yeah, you would see as the doors open up and you see the two of them step through. I believe. Uh, why? Oh, I keep going onto the wrong tab of, uh, of thingy. There we go. Uh, Carlo, you're up first. As you see, the both of them step in. Okay, Dodge is one of those people. Oh, you need to, yeah. Well, if you can roll for Dodger as well. Are we missing well, something of the turn she, order? She's made a character sheet that only she would understand. No. Like, uh, oh no, petty revenge, class bard. Tack is kind of a bitch. One creature is inspired <laughs> to shove it in their face later. A D6. What the fuck does that even mean? I would say, Ooh. um. Just use I her remember basics. last time I was like, I don't well, know how to do a bardic for her. Well, I, I would say <laughs> just scary. use her basics. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to just fine. because <laughs> uh, we'll still be in the dungeon next episode as well. So it's uh, it's a likely yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know. Yeah. <laughs> she comes back. We're like, Can't tech uses everything. <laughs> Take a look. Uh, Four spell slots. Okay. How much movement does Morgane have uh, right now on a turn? Thirty. Kind of want to. Well, you go out. You technically go after the ogres, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I was gonna give you some boosted movement to close that. Uh, yeah. Carlisle's going to for now. Uh, move here, and I'm gonna actually. I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna stay right here, and I'm gonna use my bonus action to steady aim, and I'm gonna shoot at this ogre. Okay. Uh, that is a. 25. I was supposed to get steady aim is advantage, right? It doesn't just force yeah. me to get a. So I'm using a, I'm yes. using foundry binding, so I'm holding oh, shift to click and it doesn't give me advantage. Hold on one sec. Let me just have a check something with steady aim. Uh, uh, did you move first? You can't move before using steady aim. 
No, I I was started to move and then went back to where I was standing. Oh, was okay, like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm where I started. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna shoot at this one. <clears throat> Twenty five. Twenty five hits. And Let's go. Oh, sorry, I rolled the. Uh, that is nine damage. Nine points of damage. Okay. I'm gonna stay put here. He's dead. Huh? He's not dead. Okay. It's over. <laughs> yeah, the the bolt. You just wait. You're kind of like see it fully appear, standing fully in the open. You can just gonna get this this nice shot. <laughs> bolt strikes straight into the chest of it. It doesn't seem to flinch much, but uh, it definitely took the damage. You can see it now like, oozing the bl- uh, ink off of its chest. All right. Anything else? Nope. Oh. Okay. Attack is not on initiative right now. Yeah, I need attack on initiative. Oh yeah, might be. <clears throat> Oh, why is my mouse disappearing? There it is. Nice. Huge. All right, yeah, that's important because I want to go next. Nice. Uh, all right. Then it will be tack. It's not huge because I needed more time. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations. Go now. <laughs> yeah. Um, what we got? Um, let's do Vicious Mockery. Okay. On this one. Okay. I'll do a wisdom save on it. Tax like you undead bitch, and then <laughs> cast vicious mockery. It fails if you want to roll the damage. God damn it. <laughs> uh, four psychic damage. Four psychic damage. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, four psychic and damage. Depression. His tongue kind of just lulls to the side for a moment. Okay, yeah, I guess this advantage is next attack. Uh, anything else? Uh, that's it. All right, now it's their turn. The two of them, this one's first going to... This one's going to go southward. It's going to start rushing down here. <laughs> going into the crowd. Uh, and it is going to take a slice at... First attack it's going to do is going to go straight towards... Yeah, it's going to do its claws towards V. Okay. Uh, it's disadvantage because it has Vicious Mockery, so it's only a nine. It just swings its claws and its mind is kind of slowing it down, allowing you to dodge out of the way quickly. Um, and it's going to take a bite against Hennid. Just turns out... <sighs> goes for a bite on him. I was trying to figure out who that only was. I forgot about him. <laughs> you forgot about the bull biter. Um, I did. I can't believe I did that. I feel so bad. <laughs> and then the other one is going to rush this way. Going straight towards you, uh, Morgan. You hear the... And does, it, does the beam look like it damaged the... No, the beam is um, underground. It's it, it, it's almost okay. uh, relevant to the doors opening. So the, the beam okay. is now glowing a bright green underneath the ground. Uh, it's going to go in with a bite attack. A seven. Wait, did... And it's like, you call that a bite? And then, uh, uh, so it bites into the air and you manage to dodge back. And then it's going to go in for a claw attack. Wait. Does it have 35 movement? Uh, it went Go from, down. yeah, yeah. It's got, it's got 40 feet of movement overall. But it okay. traveled from uh, there because it's large. So it, it would have been 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, okay. Uh, and then it goes in for its claw. Uh, which is a six. So it comes in, just swings, but misses as well. Okay, that's it. It's your turn, Morgan. Um, Morgan will like parry the claw. Um, and then with one hand will hex. I'm going to go for strength. Uh, oop. Um, and then we'll like follow through with a a swing of the long sword. Okay. A fifteen. A fifteen. Sorry, hits. a fourteen. It's that a hits. fourteen. It does hit though. Uh, it's going to be sixteen nice. radiant damage and two necrotic. All right, 16 radiant, 2 necrotic, and it has uh, your Vex on it as well, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, all goes through. 
You see it just kind of you slice straight against it, the burning radiance melting away some of the flesh. Okay. Anything else? Um That's it. It's my turn. <clears throat> v. Alright. Um I'm gonna attack the one in front of me and I'm not gonna rage because I wanna save for the rest of the dungeon crawl probably. So I'm just gonna attack. 14 to hit? Uh, 14... Does, yeah. Cool. Awesome. For 15 damage. Nice, dude. Yeah. All right, 15 points of slashing damage. You just bring your blade up against it. You see the ink just fly everywhere against the wall, covering Perfect. the pillar. Um, and that is it. I'm going to stay right here. Okay. Desmond. I got a quick turn. Uh, crossbow down. Hunters mark this one. Okay. That's all for me. I'm going to stay right here. Okay. Uh, on Hennid's turn, uh, he's going to go in for a bite on the one next to him. Love this guy. Uh, he doesn't have advantage, I don't think. So only an eight. So he tries to go for the I bite. This guy. He can't, yeah. can't get his teeth around a bit of the flesh. Hot stew! Well, he's, uh, he's got... He's going to try and save a rage too. He'll follow suit from V. Andrasa. Okay. Uh, Andrasa is going to back up and corporeal shunt uh, the dude that's right by us. Okay. Um. So... Let me click that and then I'll move myself. Um, nope. Why do I have advantage on? Uh, no, I will whiff it because that was only an 11. Uh, yeah, an 11 doesn't hit, I'm afraid. You uh, can shoot okay. towards him. You see him kind of just shift aside. Like... <sighs> the instinct's kicking in. And then I'm going to back up. Okay. And Sassina is usually about like... 20 feet ish in the air when she's okay. flying around. Um, so, uh, she's gonna move. Mm hmm. And she'll go. Why can't. Sorry, I'm trying to, to grab her. She'll just, uh, she'll come back here. You said she's 20 feet high? Yeah. She's probably going to get swung at. We'll see. Yeah, he'd be in tech range. I'd imagine so. He's a good he's a good tall lad. He's an ogre. Uh, if, if... Yeah, if he's tall, would I mean, like, would I know that? <laughs> like, I mean, you can see he's... There. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You can tack within five feet range, right? So he's about, like, he's 14, 15 feet tall. So he's, yeah. Um, familiar is disengage. Like, yeah, can she disengage on? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. Then she would disengage. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, he does look like he has very long arms. Sorry. <laughs> Dallin, uh, he does. Uh, is going to shoot his short bow. He's going to use one of his bonus actions. Um, wait, let me, let me. Where is he? Oh, there he is. No, okay, he does it afterwards. Uh, okay, he's going to do his longbow strike towards uh, the closest one on the left. Uh, <sighs> nat one. Like, in a moment Oof, of kind of panic, rolls. he fires and just fires straight into the pillar beside it. Oh, buddy. Top of the round, Carlisle. Carlisle's going to move over here to help with the bottom group. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my bonus action to help. V when so they're gonna have advantage when they hit the target next. That target will then have disadvantage on their next. Okay. Nice. I'll keep track of that. And I'm gonna attack with my short sword. Fifteen. <laughs> uh, fifteen hits. That is eight. Let's go, baby. Eighteen damage. That's a good amount of damage. You can see this one starting to get sliced no, up. It looks hurt. You see, it's kind of bleeding. All the ink just pouring down its chest. Ugh. Me. Before we take tags go, initiative count 20. You can see from the doorway. No! Come on! What are you talking about? 
<laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? I should have much larger. You can no! see stepping through. I'm sorry, that is Raza, too big for the door. The other ogre ducks under, oh. coming through a shadow behind her for a moment. You can see she's warped, kind of these bulbous, almost like these, these kind of almost like just warts on her back, filled with magical pus. She steps and goes. <laughs> As death and whatever traps he laid has overtaken her. I leave. I'm going to roll her onto the initiative order. Yeah, I'm sick of yeah, this place. <laughs> Magical oh. pus is not a thing I really wanted to uh, think about today. No. Or pus, like, that's non-magical as well, really. Just... <laughs> uh, and I'll yeah. throw her on. No, it's okay. Uh, question, uh, Morgan, what's your dex bonus? <laughs> Get it? See what I did there? Uh, it kind of threw me. My my, <laughs> your dexterity my dex stat. Uh, stat. Yes, uh, it's an eight. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go first. Hero's advantage over her. She has also an eight. So, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, but it is uh, <clears throat> tax turn. So Sam, it's you again. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> See you. Uh, Tack will back up 10 feet and what's this? <laughs> what's this? Whoa. I don't know, but it feels like you should use it. Echo Blast. <laughs> oh, oh, it's essentially like just reflavored Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. Blast. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's Eldritch Blast. Okay. Yeah. It, well, uh, cool. Echo Blast, the closest ogre. Okay. Uh, and then, like, a funky spirit will come out because that's tax thing, and then, <laughs> uh, like, throw a can of beans at the ogre. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, it's like she's here. It's like Dodger. Yeah, it's yeah, like, like Dodger's it's really here, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and click the buttons. Yes. Uh, I rolled. <laughs> you rolled the net one? That one? That's, that's a net one. one. Beans? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him out yeah. the way, Ollie. Yeah, you just see it come just, psst, just dissipate against him. Everyone just turns to look at Tack. <laughs> uh, all right, the ghoul ogre's turns. Uh, the one closest to you guys in the bottom. They're uh, so gross. Claw on V. 16. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. The bottom one? Yeah, because... Uh, yeah, because of the... Carlo helped. Carlisle thing. V. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's no. only that's once only, V hits. That's only oh, once I hit it. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. But 16 hits. Uh, mm. God damn it. Uh, oh, no, the curse. Oh, oh my curse. God. It's broken. Curse. Curse zero damage. Not zero damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's six points of slashing damage. And then could okay. I get a Have. con save from you? Ha, uh, no, because you're not raging. Oh, shit, you're right. Okay. Yeah, six points of uh, slashing damage uh, and a con save, okay. please. You just and feel a con the save. Claws go straight across I and you feel you. something seeping into you. You're gonna uh, ace this. Well, oh, sorry. Woo! Well, 22. 22. You, you feel this kind of poison going into you, but your body rejects it. Nice. Uh, and then it's gonna go in for a bite attack against Carla. Only an 11. Uh, so that one just goes, <laughs> just bites into the air in front of you. Uh, the other one, who does have disadvantage against you for his first attack, is gonna go in for a claw attack for the first one. Only a nine. Uh, and then a bite for the second attack, which is an unnatural 20 on you, uh, Morgan. <laughs> oh my god, I, I gotta stop clicking the button. <laughs> <laughs> the bell. Uh, five points of piercing damage as its teeth just bite straight into your arm. You can feel them, like, kind of almost crushing through the chainmail for a moment. You feel them just dig into your flesh. Pulls out, <laughs> looms over you. Uh, but that's all they can do right now. Morgan. Um, uh, Morgane will retaliate in kind, um, by casting protection from evil and good. Okay. Mm. Um, and as she does so, she's going to kind of rotate away from the maw of the ogre and kind of position herself between the lumbering, shaking creature she can hear in the distance. Yeah. And um, uh. okay. Yeah. And that's my turn. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just... Light comes over you. All right, there. The big one's going to step up. Take the bait. No. Gonna step around to here. Oh, look at her. Just awful. And she's gonna loom over you. I think I see um, the magical boss. Uh, well, what it's actually called here uh, is virulent pustules. Um, oh, sorry. So uh, she is. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Carla would know that. <laughs> she's gonna bring her her big old mace. Uh, she doesn't have a mace. No, it's a fist, I guess. Uh, it's a slam attack oh. down against you. She this looks like a mace. Fist straight down towards you, Morgan. But disadvantage? <clears throat> disadvantage is only a 10. Um, so you just see as it's just Side massive steps. fist hits against the ground. You see the ground just crack slightly. <sighs> well, there you are. Look out for those virulent pustules on it. Is that what those are? I don't know what that is, but that sounds awful. Do not let them touch you. V. All right. Uh, now I get advantage on this one, yeah. right? All right. Let's go for it. Oops. 26. What? No. Yeah. Uh, 26 hits. For 11 damage. 11 points now of damage. Now this one has disadvantage on their next attack. Okay. Uh, it would. Uh, do you want to describe how you kill this one? Oh, hey. it's kind of looming over you. V's just gonna drag her great sword along the ground, kind of creating sparks, and just slice all the way up through it. Nice. You just Clean see the ink cut. just pour down over you as it just <clears throat> falls to the ground dead. Perfect. Um, and then, Perfect. as it falls to the ground, I'll move. I'll, I'll advance on uh, this one. Okay. Yeah. You just see it. Just and, and then leap over it. The big one stands right above you both. All right, I'll end my turn. Okay. Desmond. Cool. Uh, I'm going to lead with my crossbow to try to vex him if possible. Uh, 19 to hit Ooh. the mark. That hits. Huge. Uh, for 10 damage. Nice. And what's the damage? And now, 21 to hit. 21 hits. Nice. Love it. Uh, for 12 more damage. 12 more That's damage. Cool. Yeah, that one's looking hurt already. So you just shoot these two bolts into it. It's like, urgh, urgh. Teetering. Cool. I'll take a step over here, and that is all for me. Okay. Uh, on the bull bite's turn. Uh, Don't bite a pustule, please. He'll come over this way. <laughs> And he'll, he'll attack the other one. Please. Uh, and he'll go in with his bite attack against that one. Uh, it's only the 20, but it does hit, <sighs> so it won't take the... the okay, cool. <laughs> what is going on with my... He did it play? again! It is... <laughs> oh, yes. Something's broken, but I'll roll it naturally. That's fine. Four points of piercing damage. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's because I've got two instances open. Hmm. Confused. Uh, wait, no, I know what it, I know what it is. Hold on. That's why it is. That's uh, it. Uh, yeah, it's because I'm clicking, clicking the, the roll tab. on the wrong tab. Yeah. That's what I keep doing. Cool. Um, okay, yeah, it, well, it takes... I uh, I, I'm just going to take the first roll, though, because it's fair. Uh, four points of piercing <laughs> damage is when it bites into it. Just kind of pulls back a bit of the flesh. That's so gross. And Drasa. Uh... Yes, I'd like to magnify gravity right behind those two so that it doesn't hit more gain. Okay. Um, that is a con save. Con save. 15. Uh, they both fail. All right. That is 15 force damage, please, and thank you. 15 points of force damage each? Yes. Uh, do you want to describe how you killed the, the lower one? Sure. Just sort of, kind of, suddenly lifts up off the ground and just slams right down so you, as hard as it can. It just bounces a little when it hits. You just hear this kind of bone crunch, and then the blood just goes, as 
pools Super. of ink just start kind of draining onto the ground. And okay. that is my turn. I'm going to have uh, Sistina stay there. Okay. Um, on Dallin's turn, he's going to take a <laughs> longbow shot at the big guy. Come on, man. Uh, 24 Good, hits. You. And he's going to use his bonus action cool, to add buddy. an extra d6 to this. Ooh, uh, fancy. Which he can do twice a day, so he's just going to do it now. Uh... Which would make this into a... Thirteen points of All piercing right. damage as his arrow goes straight through the, the, big, the big one. He kind of aims straight for one of its just chests, kind of open portions of the body away from any of the pustules and go straight through. Uh, actually, let me double check something to make sure. What if a pustule splashes on you? Oh! Hold on. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was figuring. Uh, it, 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 it's <laughs> regardless of uh, whether it's melee or ranged. Uh, could I get V Morgane, please, to make a con save? As Ooh, yes. despite his effort, one of them burst. Splashback. Well, what, what would uh, Morgane see looking at this creature? Would I see like condensed? Like kind of the, oh. the magic. Oh, blisters. like little magic like bubbles on yeah. it? Ew. Yeah, you probably would. It probably would you'd probably see the shape. The shape of the creature's not there, but you would see I just see oh. kind of floating. Yeah, yeah. Kind of you'd see almost magic. these pockets of magic of just like circular magic, like okay. creating this almost fungi like. When they motion capture the someone save? and they have like Con save, please. Con save. I got twelve. Shut oh. up. Oh, uh, both fail. You both take three points of poison damage, and you're both considered poisoned for one minute. Oh. A minute? Okay. You can take this, save it's the okay. end of each of your turns. Done, okay. bam. As you get some of the poison on you, and it's not fun. Uh, okay. <coughs> it smells bad. Of the round, Carla. <laughs> I mean, we gotta kill it, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try. Like, I can't, I can't fix the poison right now. Uh, <laughs> So Carlisle's gonna, gonna stay put right here, so I'm not near it. Uh, and I'm gonna. Good idea. I'm going to uh, steady aim for a shot. Okay. Oh, I also Horror lose uh, protection from. Mm -hmm. No. Bro. No, the Just poison from gets the over you. Come on. Five. It's yeah, hard to concentrate when you damage. get that on you. To be fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, twenty-five hits. Nice. For a fifteen. 15. Nice. In points of damage. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to stay put. Okay. Yeah, 15 points of damage. Uh, you can see as you just... Uh, uh, again, can I get another con save, please, off you two? Right in front. <laughs> Sorry Ooh. about this. Gross. <laughs> There's nothing oh. I can do. Oh, my God. Oh, that one. That's my best... One of my best stats, too. Yeah. Episode 13, Kurt. Oh my god, You buddy. both get sprayed with another burst. Uh, three points of poison damage each again. Get Close your shower. mouths and eyes. <laughs> I bet it smells so bad. <laughs> you brought that into the world. I didn't. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Anything else, Carl? <laughs> no. no. That's plenty. <laughs> okay. I've done enough. To everyone. <laughs> Tack's like, uh, move back, you idiots. <laughs> Tack is going to. What's Tack sheet? Um, we'll do. We'll do a vicious mockery. Sounds on good. On the monster. All right. Uh, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> you just see ink sort of kind of draining out of its eyes uh, from the pain. Go ahead and roll the damage. It failed. Three. Nice. Psychic. Right. <laughs> Three points of psychic damage. Yeah, it goes through. All right. Um, anything else? Um, no, tech's good. More game. Um, poison's disadvantage on attack rolls, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, mm, 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 let's have a look. Mm, 
Yeah. Um, my game's going to attempt to attack anyway. Okay. Transferring the hex. Uh, and let's go for it. 15. Uh, 15 hits. Yeah. Um, it's going to be four. Oh, shit. 21 psychic oh, damage. Damn. Nice. Mm-hmm. So Morgane realizing that physical damage is going to hurt them will slash mm. through the ogre, but there'll be no visible mark. You just see you just bring it straight through and it goes, it just spits out a bunch of the ink onto the ground. Blech. Okay. That's my turn. Uh, on its turn, it's going to try and hit you back, but it has disadvantage with its slam. Uh, is it slam its best bet? No, it's going to go for a javelin stab on you for its first bet. It's just go, this big old javelin. It's going to try and jab, uh, jab it into you. Frodo style. Uh, okay. 24 with disadvantage. Or a 25 and it's- a 24. Yeah, uh, it then, hold on. Let me do it from the other tab. Uh, only 10 points of piercing damage. It rolled really low. As it just drives okay. this javelin uh, straight into you, just pulls back out. <laughs> what can we do? V. All right. Unfortunately, V can only attack with physical damage. So. That's Look, what got she's going to like, do. Okay. okay. If you attack right. recklessly, it'll negate poison. Uh, oh, really? Well, yeah, As in, it'll, yeah, it'll give you, yeah, the advantage will take away the disadvantage. So you could flat roll, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that, uh, I see. So yeah, if I just do a reckless recklessly attack. Recklessly forever is usually like a good barbarian. Okay. Thing. I will do it then. Reckless attack. YOLO. Okay. Nat 20. Oh, oh shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, roll the damage. Okay. All right. Uh, 19 points of damage on that, and I'm going to Great Weapon Master bonus attack. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Which would be at normal, not reckless, right? No, reckless attack, I think, is, is it stay? A, it is turn? a turn yes. wide yeah, for your okay. so you get to roll advantage. Awesome. All right. Very nice. Right, 20, 21. Uh, will you still, 15, you'll right? still, it'd, but, be, it'd be the 15, yeah. but you still have poison on you. Oh, okay. We're just taking uh, the left 15. side. Uh, which does hit. Okay. 14 slashing damage. Damn, V. Do you want to describe Very how you kill her? <laughs> yeah! You, sl- you guys slaughter these guys. God. You'd also have taken, can I get two con saves from both of you guys from oh, basically no. the first one yeah, and yeah, that yeah. one as well. Um, as you're um, doing it, but you can describe at the same time. 13 for makes this it your one, Because she was attacking with her fists, V will pretty expertly and quickly slice her hands off and then slice her head off in two attacks. So Damn, cross nice. Across. Yeah, you just see as yeah. she goes, one hand goes across. Brings up the javelin to kind of draw it back on you, cut again, and it just kind of looms his head forward, goes, and then you just lop it off. Ew, uh. You just see the ink go spray over you and it drops Perfect. back. Some of the huh. pustules burst during it. So uh, right. uh, you, t- you both 21. take three points of um, poison damage. You Perfect. both feel pretty sickly as the poison's going to be wearing on you a little bit, but it is the awesome. end of the encounter. Gross. Yeah, drop back Didn't again. even give me a chance to hit that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there'll be more later. I mean, Maybe I hope not. Ogres, but... <laughs> All right, um, I will... Uh, Morgane will touch V on the shoulder. And uh, you won't feel your wounds heal, but you'll feel the poison dissipate. I'm going to use one hit point of Lay on Hands on both of us Ooh, to cure poison. Smart. Nice. Hmm. Thank you. You feel the poison okay. seep away from you. The ogres are lying. Their ink kind of just fades from their body fairly fast. There's, there's blood pooling. And they're not getting back up. They're dead. The air seems clear. The door is open. So they were fine when they went in there and then they turned into that. Is that going to... Sounds like you it. Know, you said the ink dissipates, like it's just gone? No, it like it pulls. Blood, or it's it just pulls. like it, yeah, it pulls like blood. All right. Well, do we want to see what was in there? Yeah. You don't even want, you're not at all curious. 
I mean, I am. I guess I I can't be inked. If anything, I'm, I'm just I'm just worried for all of you, you know. Oh, that's a very good point. Do you want Cecina to go with you? You want me to go alone? No, that that's why I said. Do you want Cecina uh, to go with you? Oh, you're you so kind. <laughs> Yeah, that's... She is ink. It's just so you can see what's happening to you. Yeah, I don't want to leave you out. For poison. And and Drassa will head over towards the doorway and see what we can <laughs> yeah. see as we look into the doorway. Can I just peek in? Take a yeah. little... Yeah. Um, you can wander up to the doorway. Uh, go ahead and give a perception check. Have you got uh, dark vision? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your hat is still lit, though, isn't it? With my <laughs> cantrip? Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you are. You are. The the his light is so lit. on his hat. <laughs> uh, so I would uh, I would cure poison on uh, V and not myself because I need five points to do it. Okay. It only takes uh, it's a minute before it's gone, right? Yeah, and then yeah. at the end of each of your turns yeah, as well. You could just make. A yeah, roll you could probably too. just save the points. And then just roll. That's true. Because that's a pretty valuable resource. It's gonna take us a minute to see what's through this room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, roll a perception check for me, Desmond. Twenty. Oh, sorry, I, and, and, and uh, 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 Sistini. Is that with Sistini, yeah? The 22? Uh, no, Indrasa would walk over to the doorway. She's oh, okay. just not going to go in <laughs> by herself. I'm going to go um, myself. You can see it's a it's a kind of a, a, a longer hallway, maybe goes back 60 feet or so. And then there seemed to be like an altar. Um, uh, with the 22, you can see kind of almost these, these like vents around it that have seemingly opened up. Whatever was on the altar is gone. So if there was treasure okay. in there, it's been lifted. So, maybe. By does these it look three. like there's another exit on the far side, or no? no. Seems to be a treasure room right. in So, uh, Andrasa will relay that. Well, it's like it's a hallway. I don't know. There's some kind of vents. There's obviously some sort of treasure or something, and it's not. In a spot where it was, so maybe one of them has it, or yeah, maybe it's this should, fancy uh, hat the big one's wearing. Looks. Maybe we should check them, but be still be careful of the uh, horrible pustules. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, you're right. I'm going to be walking away now. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, run an investigation check for me, Desmond. Can, can I help you? Do. Or you I can. Yeah, you can. Help. Like, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. 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 yeah, and you can get a plus if one on top of that as well, if you want to help. Yeah, cool, it's do, two nat like 20s. A... What the with, fuck? With the max guidance roll on both. <laughs> Holy shit. The 30s. You, you search... Uh, Screenshot that uh, shit, dude. <laughs> you'd, you'd search Raza, um, uh, who's the leader of her ogre kind there. She had been holding back a lot underneath the hatch. You could see several pouches, because bear in mind, her head is large, so... Uh, you've got loads of these kind of pouches of gold that are hidden inside the corners of it as well. Um, you'd find yourself about 70 pieces of gold that she's just been hiding away and stealing from the other ogres or stealing from other oh. people. Um, you'd also find hidden away in the other section, tucked away, to her, could have been almost used as earrings. But to you are these greaves. Um, mm -hmm. They look to have... <laughs> earrings. <laughs> uh they look to kind of, you know, their, their griefs. They go from just below, like, around your knee down to your ankle area. And they can clasp together. They look to have a bunch of screaming skulls and faces all across Oh, them. my God. But it seems like this is the whatever she grabbed from this room. She's probably these. Okay. Um, I don't know if we really have ten minutes right now, so I don't have time to identify it at the moment we until we take totally a break. do have 10 minutes we probably do right you guys want to just We're solve the next like puzzle while i look at yeah. sit down and take a look at these then let's do it i think let's double check to the other ogres make sure they don't have anything mm -hmm. yeah that's a good move yeah you can give um, me a general investigation checks on them <laughs> nope not one oh. uh you Rip. reach in and uh at one point when you go to look around his pocket you just see its mouth go, and the tongue come out. And you pull back. Oh God! Disgusting. Also, nothing in this pocket. Uh, you spend, I don't think so. <laughs> you spend the ten minutes identifying. Yeah. 
and I shall show you as you have. Uh, green, are green. you so are you casting identify spell with? Um, I'm just ritual casting. Ritual casting. Again. Yes. Okay. Then uh, you do discover the hidden curse on this as well. Mm. I would never oh, wear gosh. those anyways, dude. Not a single Yikes. chance. Look at those. Yeah. Right. Whoa. Oosh. Those are crazy. <laughs> I like the warning. I advise against judging anything by its appearance. However, if an item looks like it's screaming, I advise checking it for curses. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Okay. Each of these black leg guards is decorated with a small motif of monstrous skulls screaming in terror. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Just a motif of... Yeah, it's fine. The Greaves have three charges. While wearing these Greaves, you can use a bonus action to expend one charge to increase your walking speed by 30 feet. Okay. Damn. Wow. And you have advantage on dexterity Damn. saving throws. These effects last for one minute. The Greaves regain 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. Yum. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, It's cursed. These Greaves are cursed, oh. and becoming attuned to them extends the curse to you. You can't remove the Greaves or end your attunement to them until you are targeted by a remove curse spell or similar magic. You have disadvantage on saving throws against the frightened condition. Oh lord! Oh, Whenever God. you start your yeah, turn, frightened. Right fucking now. <laughs> the creatures release an ear-piercing scream. <laughs> oh my God! Oh terrifying. My God. You and each creature within ten feet of you must make a DC fifteen Ooh. con save, uh, taking two D eight thunder damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful <laughs> oh one. Oh my God! I shouldn't. Come have on, these put them on. Even right now, dude. I'm Holy gonna be honest. Shit. No one should put fucking have those until put someone has immunity on. to fright. <laughs> like, put them on. No one. That's crazy. I'm just saying, put them on. I mean, you guys don't get that many saves for fright condition. I get like seven a day yeah, so i yeah, should yeah, wear yeah. these you kill yeah, the entire population of, of <laughs> yeah. my loma yeah. dc 15 con is a pretty high fucking dc for yeah like random boots for especially 10 like radius around you it's crazy 30 feet so, extra movement it's only if you get frightened though Look, they do, i mean they're only positive until someone scares at, you at True. level 11 i'll be immune to frighten and when that happens, evil and good makes you immune until, Oh, hold on. Oh. No, it's not worth the spell slot, dude. I fucking literally <laughs> failed the con save immediately. <laughs> Look, we sell this shit. We sell it to some sucker. It would oh, make no. good money. <laughs> Vanderbilt will buy them. Let's be real. Yeah, 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 shit. Exactly. Unless we have like a person like we had, you know, like with Shane's monk fucking being able to catch the same cursed shit anyways yeah. when he failed. I don't know, curses are bad news, dude. Doesn't think... Lovely. You want to put them on, Desmond? N no. I would not no. wear those. Uh, they don't fit. I can't really... Oh, I already you? have stuff uh, on my legs. It's that makes sense. Not easy. You want to hold these for me, maybe? They're, my pockets are stuffed. I've just never to... seen such put an awful-looking pair of pants. <laughs> you can put them in my bag if you want. That's fine. All right. Thank you. I hand him over. Puts in bed. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I assume there's no sign of our friend still, right? Like he didn't pop back in like, hey guys, how are you doing? No. All right. Mm. I see you guys have my pants. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Okay, did we look at the right side door at all, or we just kind of like stuck our hands in the skull for the left side? We can see the the kind of glow, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Um, what you learned from like it? We didn't investigate is, it, or based on the vision we had, that door's never been open. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm guessing forward is like forward the way that they the went. Dungeon. Yeah. yeah like versus correct, right? another side thing. I want to know what's in there. Yeah, yeah, I think we might get some horrible shirt. Yeah, true. In drop head on over it made out of human skin. Yeah. You mean no. tank top? A four piece scream uh, set. <laughs> tank top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, I'll head over to the other door to look at it. Uh, see what I, mean, I see. Yeah, Morgan will go too. But the right mm -hmm. door is is as it was. You did see the plaque, um, which was mm -hmm. down in the bottom left area. Um, this okay. is the door where the words said, um, "Once I was more." Now I am but one purpose, end to all. 
Mm. If you forget, because uh, uh, it has been a week. Um, it has. I just scrolled up. I found our thing. Yeah. Because uh, So for those who need a bit of a recap, uh, in this room are four pillars. The four pillars can be changed to um, match whatever they are facing towards the skull in the center. Each of the pillars had the same six symbols on them. A bird lying on its back, injured or dying or bleeding out. A shattered blade. A burnt, smoldering tree branch. A broken chain. A tombstone with a skull upon dirt in front of it. And a wilted flower. When you face one of the symbols towards the skull in the center, that symbol lights up. Matching these symbols mm -hmm. to it can open doors. Okay. Which one did we switch on Sam's solution? Was it the flower and the bird that was right when we switched those? Yeah. Switch those, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we think mm -hmm. the right door is if we do all skulls. One of the ideas I had Maybe, for the right yeah. door was four tombstones. Yeah. yeah. Like one in every corner. All right. We can try that. That could also just kill us, you know. It's well, I have stones. the I have the necrotic resistance elixir on. Oh yeah, True. that's right. Oh so I can, yeah, there... still have I that. can false life and then reach in every time and take like one damage. Would I have had any time to like do the like fast clue thing while he was doing while Desmond was doing the identify? It was ten minutes. Um, yeah, you could have. But I, I, I don't mind. Up. I don't mind. Um, getting one clue. We, in I could that have time. done that as well. Uh, what kind of clue are you looking for? As in, um, um, yeah, looking looking at those words, what, what is it about them you, you'd want to know? Or no, if there's any know. other question you might have. I was just asking if I could do it. Hey, if you want a general you clue, us, I can. You gave us a clue last time. You said that one symbol can be used more than once. Yeah. So based okay. on that, I think we should at least try all four tombstones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm down to try it. I don't... Go for it. Yeah, Morgan would suggest it. And then uh, would just say, tell me when you're ready. Yeah, we would flip them all. All right. Imagine if this kills me. That would be hilarious. God. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, Morgan will <laughs> put her arm in and flick the switch. With all four... After false lifing myself. Okay. <laughs> With all four changed to being... Tombstones. You push your arms, flick the switch. To energy building up. It's a lot of necrotic energy. It seeps into the ground and goes eastward to the door. And the door that hasn't been opened opens. I mean, it makes sense. Nobody would put yeah. four tombstones. Oh, right. Well done. Dude, nice. Okay. All right. Do we Hold hear on, anything? Do we see there's anything? anything gonna crawl out of <laughs> uh, no doubt. Does the light change on the ground now to like green? The light changes to so light green. Woo. Right. When the door um. opens, the hall here seems unfinished. Like someone stopped excavating it so far in. However, there is a pillar in here. A fifth pillar. It is glowing. It's unlike the other pillars. It seems to be... Instead of having six angles, it only has one face towards it right now. And the face facing towards the skull in the center is a skull itself, and it's glowing. Similar to how the other four pillars are glowing, the skull here has been glowing this entire time. You can see that the skull... Is faded on this side of the pillar. And the main symbol across the side facing the skull in the center is a setting sun. What would you like to do? Just to clarify, yeah. there's one more pillar in the corridor. Yeah, in the corridor to the right, which you just opened up, there's been a pillar on the entire time. Uh, setting sun. What color is it and glowing? A faded skull. Uh, it's going the same color as the other ones, which is kind of just a just just a glow, like a soft, like almost like a right. light reflection. Does Morgane see it as a different color? Uh, no, just white magic. Okay. 
Is there a plaque anywhere or anything that we can see? Oh, I suppose it... Mm, no, it would be white magic. Uh, I mean, the plaque is the setting sun. That's it. Uh, you can go and investigate. You can't be rotated. Yeah, I'll go investigate. Yeah, I'll go. I'll help or... You notice it can be rotated Whatever. when you get closer Describe to it. Describe it to me. Describes pillar. When you get it's there... It's facing the skull in the center, setting sun, etc. When you get there... You see that this can be rotated, but only has two sides. The side that faces the center is a setting sun. On the other side of the pillar, towards the darkness, is a rising sun. I will describe that two more again. How do you tell the difference on a still image of a setting and a rising sun? That I was looking in the image of this. You can see uh, one of them is kind of like fading away, and it's kind of darker in its kind of in its coloration. The other one's kind of got like almost like a paler white around each of the the sun rising. It's almost to suggest one's rising, one's setting, and it's also the slight it has angle. Movement um, arrows. Yeah, There's the angle as well going in and out. Right. East and west. And then, the you said the hall looks unfinished. Is there like? What's at the end? A doorway or nothing? No, uh, no, as in it's, it looks like wall? someone has stopped like it's carving not... out a hallway. Yeah, um, okay, that's what I meant. Yeah. All right. All right. Setting sun facing the skull at the center, rising sun on the other side. It can be rotated one of two ways, and this whole end, it's just rock, nothing else. I mean, we should well, turn it, right? We could try to turn it and do something with the ones on the inside as well. Or do we just turn it? I think so. Let's All just right. turn it for now. We wouldn't have had access to it otherwise. With my minus one to strength, I'll. <laughs> <laughs> I could come turn it. Okay. How do you turn a pillar? It seems quite heavy. <laughs> I'll you do it. Move. Morgan will help. <laughs> Athletics check if you can. Um, advantage whoever's doing the, the main lifting gets advantage. From. Not me. I have a plus seven in athletics, but I can assist Morgan if you'd like. <laughs> Step <23. back. laughs> Uh Yeah, you lift and turn. Place the rising sun facing the skull in the center this time. And then you hear as all the other four pillars start shaking and changing and the plaques on themselves start twisting and turning on each of the pillars in the center. Oh, on their own? On their own. Okay, cool. I'll tell more symbols. Name. that's what's happening in case she can't see. The symbols now on the four main pillars, each of them having the same six, a white dove sat upright in its nest, chirping. A forged gleaming blade. A beautiful branch filled with olives and greenery. A sturdy set of shackles. A person sitting on a pillow meditating. And a pinkish flower floating on water with a yellow center. Whatever this puzzle is, is ancient. I'll post those, by the way, for you. Okay. We'll describe it to Morgaine. Well, we just went and just made a new puzzle, didn't we? We did. Do you not like puzzles, Jess? I was terrible at the other one, I'm going to be honest. But one I fear our predecessor did not find. Right. What if it's something that can help us? Uh, that means it in, doesn't right? correlate to the top door, because they opened that one. What does mm. this do? Maybe reveals something more in the right Is door. there another plaque hidden somewhere? Any? Is that the only thing that changed in the room, the pillars? Like, we don't see anything new. Hmm. Plaques seem to be the same. Um, can, can I, I'm going to go back and 
peek through the door on the left and see if anything's changed in that room? Look the around. hallway or whatever? Go ahead and do a perception check. All right. Um, can I have Sestina help me? Sure. Uh, 19. Nothing's changed. <clears throat> Excuse me. It seems all okay. to be the same. The only thing that's different right now are the four symbols. This is the four pillars with their six new symbols. The four pillars have six symbols. Okay. Hmm. What if we tried to do the opposite uh, or the corresponding one for the longer puzzle on the left door? Because it's all the opposite so far, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rising versus setting, life versus death. Yeah. So you want to put them in the opposite orientation to the open to the left what? door and see what happens? Yeah, I see what reason, because the poet, the, yeah. the... Maybe. The, That's the only thing I can think of, because that yeah, poem... The, po the poem is, those without honor just to shackle away, which means those with honor... Yeah. If right? we just opposite the poem, maybe we'll have another yeah. poem that makes sense. Those without shame fall far from the life. sun. Yeah. Yeah. Could try that. Let's do it. Um... They don't really fit, though. Hmm. Let me see. Scrolling up for the original poem. <laughs> I'm also trying to think of with the right door. Once I was more, now I am but one purpose, end to all. If there's some way we could flip that. I mean, it's entirely it's short. It's entirely yeah. possible that this is how we get to the correct path that isn't like booby like they might have yeah. gone down a booby trapped right. version of the right path and we're going down a not one a good one mm -hmm. so it could be related to the top one too which is entity who wish to free him death follow but What if it was once I was more, now I am but one purpose, beginning to all? I mean, hmm. it doesn't, I, I feel like it won't hurt to try anything, right? Yeah, yeah true. Agreed. Unless well, it does radiant damage now. Yeah. <laughs> we could try the exact same thing we tried to open the left door and just see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Just the corresponding ones. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, so which ones are you putting through? It was... Uh, buh, buh, buh. Checking. Branch, bird, chain, blade. No, it was branch, bird... We switched bird and flower, yeah. And then chain and... Yeah, it was blade. bird yeah. instead of flower, yeah. Branch, okay. bird, chain, blade. Okay. You change them all around. A gleaming, glowing towards the center skull. Excuse me. Okay, we'll get a reach in. I'm taking a step back. <laughs> you twist this time, and you feel a burning sensation appear as radiant magic burns across your arm. Okay. Okay. You take eight points of radiant damage. It's for the zap. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so it has to be something I took with zero the right damage. door. <laughs> nice. I feel like it has to be something with the right door. Maybe? What was the top door's question? Spending time can get you clues as well. Mm. You wish. All okay. right. Should we get a clue? Yeah. What do you, do, yeah. What do you mean by spending time? Um, you can roll, and it will depend on the roll. Um, okay. Uh, That's what I was saying, right? Like, Because I have a thing where I can do an investigation check quicker. So like, can I use that feature to half the time of a... One of these. What, what do you have? Sorry, you can, uh, specifically. Uh, as a we did um, for the background. There's a I can do a DC 10 int check once per day to research info twice as fast. Okay, yeah, you can do. It. I can uh, for a clue check once per day. You can get a. Um, uh, so that would just cut our time down. The time. Yeah. 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 A one clue per day. Yeah. 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 Okay. You, you could do how that. Do, how do we roll for a clue? Cool. Uh, so essentially, um, I would do a, uh, depending on what kind of clue you're going for, if you want a very just general one, or if you have a very specialized idea, um, 
I can help you out with that. But otherwise, I would say do a intelligence or wisdom or charisma check. It's going to be based off that. It's all, it's all mental. Do we all roll or just one person? Uh, it's whoever's going for the clue. Um, uh, okay, so it'll be OG this time, time because of the mm -hmm. spell. And you can, right, do we and you can do, add pluses to it an and idea? advantage. Maybe just what to do with the new symbol. So we can we can help to give them advantage. Yeah. Maybe if they yeah okay. try to think if they correlate to one of the plaques or if it's something entirely different. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll see. If they correlate to the plaques. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what am I doing? Sorry, I'm doing an int check. Uh, yeah. You're gonna do an int check. Straight uh, in. You have, have advantage a too. You have a guidance. Okay. Um, you have advantage, advantage. and uh, if anyone else is helping, then it's a plus two on top. Okay. I'll help. Uh, 20? Plus two, uh, so 22. Plus, so 22, and then a guidance is what, a d4? A d4, yeah. Mm, only a one, so 23. Okay. So part of the roll is beating the DC, and then how much you beat it by depends on how much time it's going to take you to get that clue. It's essentially cutting down the, you, you are not your characters, uh, how long it takes your characters to work this kind of out. With that role, you would learn relatively quickly, and because of your half time, within 10 minutes of discussing and thinking about it. The things to pay attention to. The answer must be within these four pillars. It must be these six symbols put together in certain order. You realize that you don't need a plaque around you. But the answer must lie within the first portion of the words. The first portion of the words says, once I was more. If now I am but one purpose refers to in it became death, what were they before that? Maybe the the four life ones. So ignore yeah, the four things the that are alive. Or yeah. Maybe the dove, the branch, the person, and the flower, the flower. floating on the water. Yeah, Does anyone have proficiency yeah, yeah. in religion? Uh, no. religion? Yes. Oh, thank God. Uh, uh -huh. Then I would say more game roll. And yes. Okay, roll with advantage, more game. Let's go, baby. Come on. Eighteen. Death was once known as tranquility. Oh. During the first battles between the children of Kaiva and the children of the three, death was killed by desire and nightmares. Tranquility took up the mantle of death. Okay. So Morgan would explain the kind of mythology they're taught as knights about death, and then it would kind of like click that maybe we should try the symbols of yeah. life. So I guess we're going to go with dove, branch, pillow, uh, the person on the pillow, and the flower on the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then Morgane will spend a brief moment to compose herself and cast false life again <laughs> <laughs> and reach in. So the dove. The branch? Yep. The person, the person and the flower. And the flower. Put your arms in. You twist. You pull and you feel the radiant energy build up. But you don't feel the burn. You see in the bottom left right corner is the door. The skull opens its mouth as hey, three eyes glow. And a way of skulls opens up. A hidden vault never oh. had been opened prior. Oh, shit. As the four symbols of peace were entered. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. Mm. It skulls all the way down. Shall we? I 
I suppose we should. Where is it? Bottom? Is it down here somewhere? Yeah, yeah the bottom, bottom right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Morgan would just make her way yeah. over to the others. Because mm -hmm. there's some people we'll up there suit. already. <sighs> yep. I can't see shit. It's dark uh, in this corner. Let me see if I can give you a... I have a <laughs> light. Oh, I see it. Hat it's light is just too many skulls. It's quite a lot of them, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, yeah, there was a skull here. I forgot about that. Yes, the one with the extra eyes. Are the skulls like... Is it, is it like a litter of skulls? Like they're just like loose, or is it like the hallways made of skulls? Like they're, the floor. You know what I mean? One moment, because like, I, 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 I had to get uh, uh, Desmond's thing. I was going to get the description. Uh, okay, uh, it it is a <laughs> walkway of skulls. So the ground itself is a series of just skulls that kind of lifted away, almost like they've been paved into the floor. Mm -hmm. Creepy. It seems to go for a little while. Passes down through uncharted territory. When you walk through and past the skulls, there's a point where you step onto grass. Oh. But when you look down at it, it looks almost like strands of hair made of radiant energy themselves. They breeze back and forth. There's a calming nature to it, to it and an energy. Being Moving off the skulls and walking onto this small kind of lawn that leads towards a circular room that glows very softly with light at the end of the hallway. The moment you step onto this grass, you feel this energy enter you. As each of you are blessed with the charm, charm of tranquility. Now, a charm, uh, we didn't play with them last campaign, uh, are little gifts. The charm of tranquility allows you to give yourself the effects of a long rest over the course of one short rest, as long as it is spent meditating. Once you do so, the charm vanishes. You can use this at any point in the campaign you want. Okay. Damn. We're never going to use this. We're going to sit on this till the last boss. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just change up the music stuff a bit. Um, Seawables in an RPG right here. Huh. <laughs> you journey down into this kind of this circular room ahead of you. It's calming as you step through. You'd go into a, almost this circular office-like room. The walls seem to be filled with panels that show out gleaming portions of light, aiming them. Tiny mirrors all across these, this, this almost bee, beehive um, like patterned wall. Behind this pillar in the center is a globe that gleams and shows the world of Veil, vale, the world you're on. You can see that shows off a portion of light going in all different directions. And the walls of light shafts create this effect in the air like you're walking through a maze of light. The patterns are honeycombed. But ahead of it is this almost desk with various holes of like beaming up of it. And a small kind of, I don't want to say the word orb, because it's not the orb you're looking for, but it's kind of like a a, a, a globe. A bauble. Yeah, a bauble that you can like run Too your hand orbs over. In this campaign. There's a lot of orbs. <laughs> you can run your hand over it and, and change the light shafts. Mm. And over to the right, on a singular pillar, is a mask. The mask... So I'm getting my description of it up here. The mask itself seems to be made of petrified bone. 
It's skull-like in its design, but it doesn't resemble the exact same facial structure as a humanoid. Its three eyes appear on the front, and it ends before a mouth can be seen. It rests on this pillar to the side on its own. Whatever this device is in the middle, though, seems to be something none of you have ever seen before. Whatever this room is, it uses light in a way that you would have never seen in any town, any city. You're standing somewhere divine. And hidden. What would you like to do? Sorry, what's in the middle? There's like a globe that's reflecting. It's a globe of the world we're on, and Ballroom. it's like reflecting light everywhere. It's like back. It's like backlit. So the, yeah, it's projecting shapes onto the walls. Imagine like a, a wall that looks like a um, uh, a, a bee's hive, kind of like honeycombed effects of all these light shafts coming all around the room, hundreds of light shafts, mm. um, and there's an. The, the globe is behind one of the pillars of light and it's kind of beaming most of the light around. And then in the center, there's almost like a bauble kind of um, shifting like kind of light Almost like panel. a control, it kind of could be a control panel almost, but like something we've never seen. And there's also a mask. In the room. And there's a mask on a pedestal. With the three eyes mimicking the door or to like this room, right? That had the skull on the outside, yeah. Um. Does Morgane see any magic coming off of these things? And what kind of... It's so? entirely radiant. This whole mm, room is still radiant. burning with radiant okay. energy. Yeah, Morgane would like act like it was blinding mm -hmm. without without having any vision. So Morgane, are you alright? The whole place is radiant. It's blinding. Mm -hmm. Well... I presume we don't just walk up and take a mask with no repercussions. Any ideas? Describe the mask to me. Describes mask. Can I religion check? Yeah. Can more? I help? Uh, yeah, you can. You can use your, your kind of teachings and in your research. 19. Uh, the okay, mask so might not... 20 plus. <laughs> yeah. The mask... Wait, what did you say you're going to do for 20 plus? Or you... No. A guidance. So oh, guidance. It's just okay. just 1d4, so it's at least a 20 in case there's mm. more. 23. That that. Okay. That definitely helps. Death is described in several ways in the teachings of old. The beginning of the second dawn is beyond anyone's lifespan, but some elves, uh, second generation or third generation, have been passed on this information. So sometimes their counts are a little bit more accurate from the time where the children of Kaiva, the sun children, walked among mortals. Whether death wore a mask like this is hard to put down into fact. But there are accounts of this three-eyed visage that death did like to take the appearance of. It is likely, in an ancient vault like this, that you are staring at the mask of death, or one of his masks. A token of an ancient power. A power forgotten. For the longest time, the last known anything about the Sun Children was they disappeared at the beginning of the Second Dawn. After mating with mortals, after integrating, they all just one by one disappeared. No one has found an artifact like this before. Until now. Well, game would relay this like, um, there's, an, there's an elf in her order and he's a bit of a drunkard <laughs> and he tells stories but sometimes they're true and it's more of a 
less fact and more of a this could be this thing. Well, I think it's possible to uh, do one of those identify things without necessarily picking up the mask. I will have to touch touch it, it. but I highly doubt it. I I don't even know if you could identify it. it. It's always worth a Mm. shot, am I right? I think it's quite worth it in this respect. Worst case, we just waste 10 minutes or it blows up and gives me a Terrible well, curse. Case it kills you. Maybe yeah. us. Well, okay, but if it knocks you out, Carlisle knows how to fix you, right? I mean, what if it so does good. more than that? This is like death's mask of doom, you know? But it's death's mask of doom, but it's radiant, so, you know, that's mm. maybe a bit good. And well, I've got Tinker's tools in my bag. If we need to put you Sorry, I just want to stress back together. Radiant also hurts quite a lot. Yeah, and I also need to stress you only really taught me how to like plug his <laughs> back up. You two are terrible at this. Me? I'm just being honest. I don't want him to think I can magic him back together because I uh, cannot. Well, I didn't say you could. I was also being honest, just differently honest. I think I'll be okay. I mean, I didn't even take It'll a scratch fine. that last fight. I'm feeling tip top. <sighs> you are your own man. You <laughs> are going to be okay. I promise. Carlisle steps. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna touch it. Does anything happen? It feels cold to the touch. Um, you can feel the 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 chill coming off of it, but then the longer you kind of hold on to it the warmer it becomes, like there's a fire trap beneath ice. It seems to have some sort of magical properties just from the touching of it. But mm. doesn't I'm still you. alive. Why am well I? Well done, see? Result. That's a bonus. <laughs> I'm not sure if I am alive. Hold on, I'm having a moment. Of... <laughs> You're fine. Is there anything else in this room? You guys can search. I'm going to spend 10 minutes identifying mm-hmm. this while that happens. Okay. Yeah, yeah Morgan literally hands, cannot see in this see. room. It's like <laughs> someone holding a torch in your face. <laughs> um, Does the orb look, well, I don't know, weird, different? Inviting. Can we look at it? Uh, can you we can look at it. it? Yeah. Touchable. It look lootable. Uh, it's, it look no, like it's, it's attached in there. It's like... um. Damn it! Uh, imagine like on a on a on a on a laptop mouse pad, the the kind of like I was uh, gonna say it's like one of those old yeah. boom boom mouse. Really? exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my it's God. it's there as a means of kind of changing the light shafts. Um, you can try and work out how to use the device. That's gonna take some rolls. What uh, and what do we see like displayed on the? What do we see displayed on the wall like from the light? Oh, you're just seeing is hundreds it... of thousands of light shafts. It, this is yeah. this is something. Is it you, a pattern? Like, is no, it moving? No, 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 is it no, no, static? No, no, you're 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 thinking way too in, into your world of it. It's it's it doesn't seem like something you would be able it's to kind of quantify. It's mm. it's thousands of light shafts just going in in between each other. It looks random. It looks completely like yeah, it's, that's right, it's designed it in a in a way that is. You must know how to use the console to kind of get an idea out of it. You can try and. Work out the console. No. Um, if I spend a few it. minutes watching it, no, 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 no. Would I be it's able not to... moving? You'd have to. You, you'd you'd have to use you're gonna the have to. You have to. I have a question. You're a caveman walking in front of a computer. Is the idea? <laughs> you said. Uh, did I hear correctly that the console is like a model or a replica of our world? Basically, there's a uh, in kind of a, a pillar of this this beehive um, honeycomb. Behind that is a a, a spinning world of veil, um, and it's got the light shafts gleaming off of it. That's kind of what's creating all of it. And you can see is our continent the only yeah, place like that what's... doesn't have light coming off of it? Uh, no, currently everywhere has light. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's look at the console. See what we see. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Touch some shit. See what happens, man. In- inspect yeah. it. Uh, and you're doing your uh, identify at the same time, Desmond? Yeah, during 10 minutes while they're doing all this. Um, would you like to see the item before you dive into the role? Probably, in case sure. it gives us like a hint. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe then a, a yeah, sight of some You sort. would uncover the visage of Tranquil Death. Ooh. Very rare, okay. This mask uh, looks to be made of petrified bone. It seems to be a skull-like in its design. Though it does not resemble the exact same facial structure as a humanoid, three eyes appear on the front of it. And it ends before a mouth can be seen. It feels cold to the touch, but the longer your hand rests on it, the warmer it becomes, like fire beneath a sheet of ice. Uh, though magical, this mask once vibrated with radiant energy. Prolonged laps... Uh, in the darkness has weakened it, but there perhaps there's a way to restore it to its full power. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Uh, Death's Mask. While attuned to this mask, you have resistance to necrotic damage, advantage on constitution saving throws, holy. And you roll death saving throws with advantage. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> that's already insane. Yeah. 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 That's only holy one shit. of the four things it does. Uh, gifts from Beyond. This mask grants you certain spells. Uh, this mask can function as a spellcasting focus. The DC for these spells is 14 or your spellcasting modifier. The spell attack rolls have a plus six. If your spellcasting modifier is higher, you may use that instead. This mask holy has three shit. charges and regains all charges back at dawn. You can use it to cast Wither and Bloom, which is decent. Uh, mm-hmm. Bestow Curse, Death Ward, and Spirit of Death. I'm actually not sure what that last one is. It's a new spell where you get to summon essentially a little reaper. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Spirit Form. You can use your bonus action to enter into the Ethereal Plane. In this form, you are not considered incorporeal and gain a flying speed up to 20 feet. So you could still be hit then. Is Sorry, what it's meant to say you are considered like, uh, compo- uh, incorporeal. are considered. Okay. Yeah, we'll edit you can exit to Ethereal, or you can exit the Ethereal Plane with a bonus action. That's insane oh my god but that's what the uh, there's a in. curse the curse is a, the curse <laughs> of course is when entering into spirit form every six seconds the dm will roll a 1d100 on a one the reaper appears for each roll that isn't a one the dc increases by one if a 100 is rolled the dc is pushed back by 10 to a minimum of one when the reaper appears the creature attuned to the side of is trapped until the reaper or the creature is dead uh stealing from death is a bold game to play okay holy Yikes. shit that's cool. Damn. That's very cool. I mean, spirit form is a very, like, you could use that as, like, a last resort, and the yeah. mask is still amazing. Okay, yep. so the first part of this saying it's weakened, are, can it do these effects right now, or does it have to be sort of I'll tell you brought now. back to its state? Can I tell? You could do this now, but more later. Yes. This is okay. an item that okay. can, oh my God. eventually, Holy it can grow. Be it improved into a legendary it. item. Wow. Okay, so I do think <laughs> a spellcaster should have this because that mm-hmm. advantage on constitution innate yes. is insane. Yeah, that's huge. Who are our casters? Uh, Me and Tag. And... Yeah, you and Tag. I'm barely. Yeah. All I'm saying, I'm not, and this is maybe this is me leaning a little bit towards uh, the martial caster we have, but they have a plus one on their con saves, and uh, Sam could probably use that. And yeah, the death save advantage is also and death saves. Mm-hmm. They're a frontliner, and that's a ton of really good frontline stuff. And death ward as a spell cast for them. I would, I would great. say, let's talk about this when Dodge is back. That's yeah, a good that's idea. Point. Yeah. Because yeah. I wouldn't want to have this conversation without. Her. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, sense yeah. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah! All right, that's really. Oh, you cool, would look though. sick with this mask. Also, let's just remember that the mask is super cool. <laughs> yeah. I think it's good. It's good for anyone, honestly. Yeah, it, anyone, this is amazing. If anyone is interested in it, I think it's totally about it. Yeah. I mean, you guys earned it. You guys got the secret room. I didn't know if you'd get God damn. Um, so funny, because the solution to that puzzle, I thought the first solution when we first learned about the pillars, the opposite of that, the things that had life and then died, was the answer. Well, what was quite interesting is you chose all the things that had life, and I didn't think about that. Uh, it was the four symbols of peace. Because yeah, it was a white the, dove, the olive yeah. shackle, and not the yeah. blade. The branch yeah. was an olive branch, and then resting yeah, head. Um, and, well, the uh, other two options were shackles and a sword, and neither yeah. of those felt like they fit life or fair. peace. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Um, yeah, you got the item. Uh, if you're going to be studying the panel, mm-hmm. can I get... figure this thing out. Uh, how long are you willing to study it for? So, 
Uh, you'll be able to continuously keep rolling for this. Uh, but each time you roll will take 10 minutes. Mm. Okay. Of study time. All right. Well, so we'll, we'll what at least take 10 minutes. Um, investigation. Investigation, Arcana are the two primary ones I would say for this because it is you guys would make the first roll without me because <clears throat> that 10 minutes I would be identifying yeah so I can I roll I've got a plus 7 in investigation and arcana so I can roll if someone wants to help or whatever mm -hmm. I can also tell you Tank does have guidance as well so oh yeah okay mm -hmm. Um, all right. Does it, do we get different information if it's Arcana or Investigation or does it matter? Or just... No, this is just, it's, it's using, uh, different kind of forms of trying to work this out. You're basically trying to <clears throat> learn how does a communication device like this work? Um, sure. and what, how was it, um, how was it ever used? Okay. Uh, we'll try, uh, 20 plus, uh, Plus a D4, right, for tax guidance. Uh, 24. Here. 24 is just a tiny bit too low to learn exactly. Oh. But I will say it will lower the DC for the next time. Okay. Well, you do learn from the 24, the basics of it. You realize this is a communication and recording device. It seems like the light is how they've recorded information. Death once used this as a primary way of sending out information via light and receiving it via light. What you haven't worked out though, and you can work out that right now you can put your hands in front of the shafts and depending on the position of your arms and where you move them, you might get different information gleaming onto the, the circular ball in front of you. No words, but you start to kind of rally the information together. You can kind of jot it down into t kind of terminology. You can write it down into literature. You can almost copy the lights together and, and kind of create some substance to this pattern. You've already worked out the kind of fundamentals, but you don't understand one aspect of it. You're missing something. It's like the okay. information you're getting um, right now is very present. It's in the past, but it's all just one collective. Like it's one, one page in a diary. All the... Uh... I'll relay that information. Um, I'm so close. I just, it's like there's just one piece that I'm sort of missing. And if I could figure that out, I think I would understand all of it. Just really thought I almost had it. Just slipped away. Do we, do we have time to, to look a bit more? Oh yeah, I'm done here. Uh, this is what the mask is, by the way. But <laughs> pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty cool. I guess. Well, it seems pretty cool. I can't. It's a little pretty cool. <laughs> but I can help. Uh, maybe catch something that was missed. Right. Okay. Try again. Right. Yeah. You spend another, another ten, 10 minutes, minutes, then the DC is lowered. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll try again. No. Oh it. no. Uh, I think a guidance will help. Seventeen. That. Yeah. Still not cracking it. You spend another ten minutes, and you're trying to work out exactly where the light shafts go. You're finding out that the information. You start to to kind of build a, a way to convert it into into language. And you're getting some of the basics down. You're realizing right now <coughs> that this is where death's information came into. This is where he sent out for. You can see where, even though they're using the world of Veil, that Hyloma is the focus. It seems to be the hub of where the light's coming from. The sh light shifts and changes whenever you move the bauble, but you can't get it right. You're close. There's something to do with the moving orb. But what is it? Do you want to spend more time? I think that pretty cool mask just distracted me. I mean, it it's works. something to do with this. The lights are mostly on high low This is definitely how he was getting information, sending information. It's right Perhaps there. Perhaps you should I... 
maybe take a short rest while you Just figure this out? Rest in the middle of study. I, why I would think you... that'd be a good idea for us. Less so the rest of us aren't twiddling folk. our thumbs. Mm. She's sort of nodding, and she's got her book out, and it's just trying to, like, figure it out. Yeah, we could try to crack this while they rest. It might mm -hmm. be good. I don't, I don't right. really need one. Of a board, Sam is super injured. Yeah. I've been trying to yeah. see if I need to use my resources to heal him <laughs> if we're not going to get another short rest or if we have time to yeah. do it. I got fucked up in that last fight, man. I, I don't want to say it, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could take a short rest. Uh, short resting will, will make it so this DC is considerably easier. Um, and you okay. may be able to actually crack it by the end. Awesome. But we'll see okay. how quickly into the short rest you get it done. Uh, so go ahead and take nice. your short rests and go ahead and give me uh, another arcana. So roll. this this uh, this charm is a per person basis. So yep. they, they or do we you turn, all have one. as a group turn a short rest into a long rest? Nope. Whenever you want okay, to, cool. throughout any point in the campaign, but then it gets you. I will up. take a short rest. All right. So I'm rolling again. <laughs> Uh, yes, please. With advantage. Oh. God, it's getting worse. 16. <sighs> it wouldn't be I'm enough to track out. it by the first uh, 20 minutes. Do it again. Maybe you want me to look at it? Just a pair of fresh eyes, do you think? I don't... You don't even have Just eyes. Places. I didn't mean that. Sorry. Optics, eyes, I was eyes. I, I was oh, okay. Right. Is that, is that what we're frustrated. doing? Yeah, we're getting heated. I don't it's okay. like when I don't understand things you just see henna go i me too <laughs> i've been fucking confused ever since we came in here i just God, stare I at him with here. narrowed <laughs> eyes does this guy also get just the short like... rest the long rest he's just gonna like have that yeah he that's, is that's yeah cool. technically you guys are giving him a crazy charm good um, for him yeah and and Dallas just kind of stood in the background like you know praying to himself panicked um go ahead and give me another arcana check See if you get it by the uh, middle in mark. No, it's just going to keep getting worse. 19. Plus four? Plus 21. two. 21. It's about an hour overall of trying to make this thing work. An hour of since you nearly cracked it. When you twist the bauble and you find. How would they have tracked this? How could they record information without a dating system? And then you realize every shift of it shows when Kaiva was first over the world. When Kaiva drifted over High Loma. And then you start to piece that each time it shifts, each time the bauble turns, and the light shafts change, that's a different year. A different blessing. And then so when you run the bauble back, you can take the blessings all the way back. And there's sometimes where the light doesn't shift at all. And you realize there's no information in the patterns there. That's the standard formation. So you start flicking through and looking for any time the light shifts at all. And you realize you can quantify what year, when this was recorded, based on each of the times that Kaiva did her pass over High Loma. That's when the information could be drawn in. For that one week of every year, the vault lights up the first thing you can bring yourself back to when you do this is the early portions of the seven go ahead and give me a religion check uh indrasa anyone help uh, this is just Not for your own guy. knowledge, yeah. Because this is why you're cracking. Right. You're on your own. <laughs> nope, that's oh, one. That's Double oh that's one. Fucking... <laughs> this, there's so much radiant energy, it's freaking rattling her brain. I think Idras is so excited that she just finally cracked. They're like, well, obviously, I wasn't thinking as a sun child. It's just when the... And then she loses it again. As quick as her brain was going, then it's gone. I start looking into... You don't know at what point of time that the first portions are recorded. And it's confusing to see who is who at this point. But what you would realize, away from any religious knowledge that you might have been able to garner from this otherwise, 
This depicts Death's recordings after the beginning of the second dawn. The seven remaining children of Kaiva, the sun children that survived against the first war, none of them killed any of the children of the three. They all went into hiding. For the longest time, no one has known anything about what happened to these seven beyond their mating with mortal kind. But here, you might be the first people to ever find any evidence of what they were doing during this time. You see where it mentions other communication devices. And you peer it around and you see Hyloma light up when you change the bauble, moving it horizontally. And the screen lights up and shows you. Hyloma as you know it. But something's different. There's light gleaming off of 13 different points on Hyloma. Nice. Oh, shit. You see. Okay. On the map. 13 other places that must be sending out light. Or 12 other places, 13 including the one you're in. There are 13 vaults that the Sun Children have created. All around Hyloma where they communicated with each other. Sending information during a time when no one knew what they were doing. Taking this information into account, you spend the course of the short rest looking through. You realize order took charge. This was known at the time of the second dawn. But order and the others, no one knows what activities they were put to. But the information you garner and you start to write it down, journaling, translating it into language. He gave tasks to each of them. Tasks to hunt down the children of the three. Death was to hunt down nightmares and desire. Vengeance for what happened to the previous death beforehand. It was the belief that tranquility would hold off against both nightmares and desire. Peaceful of mind. <coughs> the children of anguish. Design and discovery hunted decay and pestilence. Rage was pursued by Order himself. And the three children of Domination, Alacrity, searched for desire. Fortune, now under the guise of strife, was after blood. And death would hunt nightmares. Beauty volunteered to hunt the single child of Oblivion alone, Shadow. You flick through the bauble, looking through the years, and you notice slowly each one of them stops sending in as much. Focus on their own task. Death, however, is the most communicative. The one who is pursuing the hardest. You flick through the years, trying to find more information. You realize that this vault that you're in right now is a newer one. Death had to leave his previous vault. It doesn't give much information, but it came under attack. Can I have another Arcana check with advantage? No, I just got nat one. <laughs> no, that's really good. Nat ones again. What's the odds yeah, of that? That's not possible. There you go. A natural oh. twenty. I guidance you. Plus <laughs> guidance. Plus a fucking one. <laughs> twenty is good enough to get the next information. You find the reports, the last reports, as you flick through looking for the patterns. Beauty was the first to report back. They'd found Shadow, but they were hiding in the Shadow Fell. Where in that place is anyone's guess? They'd never come back. Beauty believed that they wouldn't. 
Death then claims to have captured one of the leading cultists to Nightmare and imprisoned them. He rebuilt his vault on that location. Design and Discovery had fought decay and pestilence. They injured both of them, pursuing them until now what is called the Ruby Stretch. Oh. But then you flick through and you find the last pattern, the last bit of information to come in, was a message from Strife. The message seems to be a confusing one to try and translate. It takes you a little bit longer than you think. By the end of the short rest, you're still staring at it. It's a premonition. Strife, who was once known as Fortune, believes they've found something. Seen something. Something to come. A lightless message. A time of grief. You spin the dial. It's seemingly when the message was sent, it wouldn't be for some time. The message was sent maybe 1500 years ago and you flick through and you realize as you spin the bauble and the light and the years get closer to the one you're in now you get to the year 499 the year you're in now the light patterns remain dark no messages have been sent around this time and you spin it once to the right again all of the light gleams brighter than before Morgan, you'd get shunned with this radiance for the first portion of the 500th year, a great light during the two weeks of Kaiva. When she comes over, there will be a great light. Then you spin it very slightly to the right again. And every single light shaft in the room goes off. There's this overwhelming darkness. No darkness had ever shown before in the bauble when you spun it. In the year 500, the upcoming year of the third dawn, you see a singular bit of light gleam out. You move your arm to try and direct the pattern and create language out of it. And it translates into two words. You see the infernal pattern. And you can translate the infernal language onto the ground or into whatever parchment you're using to be read by anyone that speaks infernal. But you don't. We have tack minor illusion it for more game like we did last time. You can. The singular light pattern that shows in the darkness of the year to come translates into two infernal words. When Tack shows you the words, Morgane, this is what you would read in the air. What does it say? Do you really want to know? Absolutely. It says apocalypse comes. Oh. Well, that's not great. No, it's not. And soon. The rest of the information that you would see in this console is obsolete. It would take years of researching it to find out anything more. And even then, you roughly scanned it for the important dates. But one thing is certain from it. The Seven stopped sending messages for their own reasons. Some of their vaults went dark. Some of them, who knows what happened inside. 
You might be the only mortals who even know of these vaults. Or knowingly know which vaults or which ones are vaults. Death clearly left this location in pursuit of further knowledge after Strife sent this. This message from Strife caused them all to take action. But it was so long ago. If this is still to come true, then they failed. But you're behind on a lot of information. There are roads you can go down. But from what you know, perhaps the first mortals to know, maybe not the first ones, but maybe the first that could be willing to do something about it. It is autumn in the year 499. Leaves are falling off trees. In a few months' time, the sun shall, the real sun, will shine across High Loma, and a great light will come when it does. And after that, apocalypse. That's where we'll end tonight's short little episode. And we'll see where you guys go for the rest of the dungeon next time. God Congratulations damn. on unlocking the side room and discovering the vaults Woo. of High Loma. We didn't cause the apocalypse. We just now know yeah. it's coming. So, yeah, like, well done to yeah, us. We have lots of time to, like, move. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got months. <laughs> months to relocate. Off get that point. orb. Go to Horizon's Rest. Get a ship. Go to Essex or wherever. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, Basil's doing. Above board, uh, yeah, there are a bunch of now uh, big old dungeons you can go and pursue. If you're in, yes. in, in uh, I mean, if they're gonna have loot like the like this fucking, mess. Like we're going to so. love them. Well, Goddamn. I can tell you this: that there were thirteen of Sun Children, and there's thirteen vaults. So, if you are interested in pursuing big old Omega dungeons, then uh, that's where they're located. You have their locations. Hell yeah Which might dictate where you that's go next. Awesome. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for playing for our short little episode today. Um, good job on getting to the side room. I was uh, I was curious if you guys would pursue it. It would be like, oh, we have to push on ahead. But <laughs> it, it pays off to be explorative, for sure. Yeah. Um, the, the idea that we might have missed all of that is uh, yeah. <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I was like, I remember when we were playing BG3 and we did the, the, the without any spoilers, there's a side room with, with legendary gear. And I was like, ah. Oh, I've got to do that one day. That sounds fun. So that's uh, <laughs> that's what I want to do for this one. So yeah, you could have missed out on a shit ton. Um, but uh, you didn't. You got the information, you got the mask, and yeah, it can be improved at some point in the campaign. Um, but we will leave it there for Christmas and holidays, and we'll be back in January. I believe it's January 7th? Yes, January 7th. So in uh, three weeks from now, we'll be back for episode three 14. Weeks such a long time Dang. it's true it's true it's it's a while but hey when you come back you can finish the the big old dungeon and uh yes. we can get into next year's sunforge happy one not really one year but happy our first year of, of going into this hey. it's already been like four months yeah. um happy our first year <laughs> shut up dude i didn't know what i was saying man okay look it's been four months okay Maybe it's been first four months christmas it's yeah. like that right yeah that's like, what i meant yeah um, yeah, uh, the, just uh, think about where you want to go after this dungeon, because uh, soon you're going to have the ability to go wherever you want. There's another vault pretty close, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Hell yeah, Wait, is dude. there? Yeah, just yeah, yeah, the us. <laughs> yeah. The Everlight? Yeah. Or we can go yeah. straight north across Ugh, the ocean. I can tell you right now, uh, that Everlight one is that's directly be below a... the capital. Yeah, that's mm. maybe that's do maybe that one later. Maybe above our pay grade. Yeah. I think we go, we go, we get a boat. Horizons the rest. Ocean. There's we one get, there. We head to the city of seven. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
What the fuck are you smiling about? What is that about? Why? Well, I, 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 it's know, exciting. I just don't fucking like it when the DM smiles. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, they let us smile. I fucking hate it. All the Smells locations it. are exciting. Okay. All the locations are exciting. I'm just saying. No, you like you did a little like giddy like. <laughs> you're like, okay. Like, you're like, well, this, the city of the oh, seven is is an interesting <laughs> one. It's a it's a freestanding state. It's a place. It's, it's a fun place. That's pirates. It's pirates. Uh, it's a lot more well, than pirates. Were... It's um. Ooh. You'll you'll see when you asking about it in game. Oh um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll see in January. Um, all right, <laughs> let's go ahead and do some shout outs, and then uh, we'll finish up for tonight, and we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back in January. Uh, Dodger couldn't make it. Dodger was feeling unwell, so uh, we wish her the best, and uh, we'll catch her up over over the holidays, uh, so that she can come in without feeling too overwhelmed with the information thrown out. <laughs> um, but please go and check out Dex Bonus. I assume well, as soon as she gets better, she'll be back to streaming her daily variety of games. So see her then, uh, Sam. Hey, stripping. Torture TV slash stripping. It is Torture TV slash stripping. All right, tomato. I don't want to, dude. Come on, man. Go on, do a little, no little tasty. Just to wind out 2023. Shout me out, dude. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ew. You started so offended by that. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry. Gross. Uh, pustules. Damn, yeah. no. okay, shit. What happened to snowrunners today? Uh, dude, I'll tell you what happened to snowrunners. What doesn't happen in snowrunners? This dude, I swear to God, he's griefing me every fucking Sunday. <laughs> we do. I would like to petition for a little snowrunners recap in addition to the sunforge yeah. recap every I week i think it that. was an accident today this i was dude driving was along tearing towards me like 80 down the highway <laughs> i'm, I'm not going towards him to the okay road. he's pulled over in the road i'm parked over in the breakdown lane parked. Okay. okay parked parked sure okay and, and i'm i'm just i'm just i'm literally doing my job you're trucking I'm trucking yeah i'm trucking down the road yeah, he's doing his he happens to be on the same road fucking trailer I'm going, fish tailing left i'm going right. Right. <laughs> like I'm 90 going degrees fast. behind his okay. fucking truck and I'm of course fast. 90 degrees i get hit by it with like I a up hammer speed, to the front of my truck annihilates my engine i don't hit him but my trailer fish tails and smashes into the front of him <laughs> holy fuck and he and he just screams what's your fucking problem <laughs> like this oh my god <laughs> he didn't even slow down to like check if i was good he just <laughs> Oh, fuck. Fucking fucking oh, fuck, dude. I, 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 I got a job to do. I don't. Holy, I wish, I wish you two were like real life truckers, man. Job. It'd be so <laughs> fucking good. I feel like that'd make an amazing uh, stream. You two actually getting real trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> be so good. Uh, <laughs> Bree. My face hurts. Hello, I'm Bree Bun. I stream this all. It's true. Bree's pushing for partner plus as well. So if you ever oh, pop into you. a stream, he is. I am. How do you need to get? What do you? What do you need to get? Three fifty sub points. They have. They cannot be primed. They cannot be gifted. They have to be tier one through three. Chat. Um, no, I'm you actually. You kind of received them on a Friday, and you kind of received them yeah, on a right? Sunday. Yeah, right. Yeah, you have to. You, and have, you to... have to maintain them for three months, and then you get seventy thirty for a year. I've been on yeah. Twitch for like six years with a 50 50 split. This would be life changing. So if you want to help Chat. out, that would mean a lot. You basically have to it. start discouraging gifted subs and prime subs. It's very weird. It's Which very, feels gross. Like, oh, weird, thanks right? for the gifted sub, but please don't yeah. gift sub right now. It's yeah. really strange. Yeah. It's a really weird feeling. Um, yeah, but wait, but you can, if you are interested in helping out, you can sub for three months all at once right now. And That's it's 25% it off you through. right now to do that. And so, yes. That's true. That's and? true. Yeah. Was that, did you just end the sentence on and OG? Yeah. I went like that. That's and not, that doesn't that's count. Not, that's that not, pisses that's not, me off. That's not valid. Because <laughs> said it. So yeah. I didn't that need to say it. You went and. <laughs> then Bree yeah. said it. Yeah. Listen, and you just started looking down again. It was yeah. like. Because Bree yeah. said it. Why I am I going to repeat sentence. it? She just said it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys aren't on the same wavelength no. that me and Bree are. Yeah, but sorry. We're not. No, we're no, not. Yeah. Not. No, I could tell. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Shane. God damn it. Hey, I'm Shane. I'm also going for Partner Plus. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Slay. A few you years. I'm not really. That's <laughs> you, that's going to take a it, minute Shane. for me. You could do it. No, you could genuinely do it. You just have to push for it. It's, uh, it's, it's... You just have to talk about it a lot, it yeah. feels like. Talk about it it's See, I, so that you feel I, gross and I weird. Hate I can't do that. I can't anyone for anything. I get it, Shane. But, I okay, it. but it so if you don't say it out loud, then people think you've got it, right? So you have <laughs> I gotta to say get, it. And then they're like, oh, yeah. Assumes you have it. I got to get more consistent with just streaming in general first. 
I, I just keep getting sick because, you know, uh, kids in school in winter, I am yeah. with my brother. He has so many kids and I get every illness no yeah. man, are the worst. every few weeks. So I just have to like, take a week off. <laughs> yeah. Dude. <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. Guys, you're you're Especially when, do you know the worst bit about that? What you're going up. through is watching someone else's symptoms. You know what's coming for you. And yeah, it, the, the, the worst thing it's worse than yeah. that. Because the way that it works in our household is my kid gets sick and it's just like she has a fever. She's okay. She bounces back. Yeah. And then Brooke gets sick and it's like she's properly sick. Yeah. And then I'll last like a week. And yeah, it mutates in each of you, man. Fucking you get much super, worse. So much yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a mutated <laughs> version. Yeah, yeah. You, you just got over virus. being sick, too. We're going on a trip like next week, so it's going to like hit no, you're me not. as we're going. Oh, oh, God, no, you're dude. not. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, game over, dog. Uh, finally, LG. Hello, I'm OLG. Thankfully, I do not live with any children, so I anticipate not being sick. Which I just jinxed it, so probably shouldn't have said yeah. it out loud. Yeah. yeah. Humans, adults. I was going to say humans as if children aren't human. Humans. Uh, adults humans can be sick too. Right? <laughs> um, That's true. Humans and their younglings. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> humans and their little ones. Uh, please go and check out everyone here. Uh, there's a patron. I haven't posted this week at all because I, I've, I've been suffering from COVID, so now I'm going to try and catch up a week. Uh, but uh, we'll be back uh, with episode 14. On January 7th. Uh, so we'll see you then. Come back after. Enjoy your holidays. Enjoy your time off. Uh, and uh, I'm hoping to post a recap of everything so far during the holidays as well. So that people can dive in and start with us in 2024. But uh, if it is your first time here or you've just been watching recently. This is only the beginning of the campaign. Uh, we are, The last campaign went over 120 episodes. And I imagine this one will at least do that as well. So uh, welcome in for the ride. And we'll see you next year. Catch you then, everyone. Thanks so much for coming out. See you Bye. then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.